music. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? We're going to start out the video here. It's going to be a, kind of a, I don't know, a day video, I guess you could say. Um, it'll go up on Tuesday. I've kind of got the camera propped up on the in the console. So since I quit drinking Cokes, I'm always looking for something I can drink that um, is not going to kill my blood sugar and stuff and I found it they make two different versions of this they make a one that's uh, just a regular green tea and they make this one that is iced peach tea but zero sugar added Lipton um, oh. all right so I'm gonna hold the camera from here on out so it's uh, zero sugar added uh, matter of fact it only has five calories uh, I'm trying to see but anyway yeah they've got it they've got a green tea that's a no sugar zero sugar added uh, tea also so uh, let me go on down the road and we'll pick this back up and find out what all's going on Okay, so it is Saturday, um, and I'm headed to one of my favorite state parks, which is Cedars 11 State Park. I'm not going to hike, as I promised the wife while they were gone out of town that I would not go hiking. Um, I'm kind of ready to go hiking, but I won't go until Chloe can go with me. Uh, that way I've got somebody with me. So anyway, um, this video I'm just going to prepare you. It's going to be all over the place, but going to be some cool stuff here and there. Um, I'm expecting some some coolness in the mail, shall we say? I'm expecting a mail call today, so that's probably going to be the tail end of this video. But anyway, we're going to um, I'm going to shut up for now. We're going to head towards Cedars Eleven State Park. Uh, main thing I want to do is drive my road, that road over there. Uh, it's just a gravel back road to nowhere <laughs> but uh, it's got some neat scenes scenery and um, we'll come up with something while we're there and then come back home I got a couple stops between here and there that I've got to make but that'll be off camera alright guys we'll be back in a little bit okay so I want to do this real quick uh, if I can hold the camera still <laughs> um, let's kind of recap 2020 and what all the channel did you know we ended up doing more than what we thought we we're going to get to do and you know we had uh, we had the youtuber kind of youtuber meetup at fall creek falls there was three of us there that you know ended up going anyway and the crazy part about that was is the week before the weekend before actually um state parks were closed and they came out and said on that uh, that Monday I think it was or it may have been the Friday before that they were going to open up the parks on a certain date and if you had reservations you can go camping <clears throat> but they would not set new reservations until two weeks after that so I never canceled my reservation so we went anyway and ended up meeting Danny with uh, TN Deer Hunter, a uh, Deer Stalker, and then we met Fraser Douglas out of Alabama, the Avid 10 camper, and we had a great weekend. We had an awesome weekend. So, of course, that was, you know, when COVID hit. So, the way things were going, you know, didn't look like we were going to get to do much at all. Um, for the year I mean it was just pretty limited we could go to the parks and stuff uh, go camping and of course then my health issues fired up and overcoming that and in which I'm getting there <laughs> I'm getting there like I said I'd love to go hit a trail today but I promised the wife I wouldn't uh, that I would uh, wait until Chloe could go with me and you know I might start small um, it's funny I can walk good and flat 
no problem. Uh, heels are going to be an issue. Uh, of course, it's the way everything transpired. You know, it, you've, not, you've seen the videos of what happened health-wise and everything, so you know where I'm at. So I'm, I'm gaining my strength back better than I was. I'm better than I was um, when we went to Gulf Shores. Now it's another one. See, we didn't think we were going to get to do that. Sorry, I was flapping and not paying attention to the red light. Didn't think we was going to get to do that. And um, we ended up getting to. So we went to Gulf Shores. You saw the videos from there. You know, it was down there four or five days, four days. Um, then we had a couple of little things we did, nothing major. But then we did our big trip Thanksgiving week up to Williamsburg, Virginia. Oh, sorry. And um, that went really well. And we social distanced, you know, we did the mask wearing everywhere we had to. Um, and, and we did what we were supposed to do. Did, have, did what we had to do to uh, to you know keep ourselves safe now I had I had somebody ask me the other day am I not worried about COVID well I am worried about COVID that's why I did you know scale back quite a bit last year not, not only not my bad health help me not getting COVID or at the point um, but yeah I practiced all the social distancing wearing a mask if I needed to you know I did all that stuff because you know for one, I'm in the risk category, being diabetic, and that's one of the top risk, you know, for COVID is people that are diabetic. So, you know, I said, you know, here's the thing: I've been to total of six different states this year. I did what I had to do, mask-wise, social distance-wise, and I hadn't gotten it yet that I know of. I mean, I'm pretty sure I hadn't. I hadn't been sick. Um, so anyway, you know, if you do the right things and, and hand sanitize, keep your hands clean, you'll, you, you're more than likely going to be fine. And I have been fine. My wife's been fine. Matter of fact, this weekend, I didn't want to go. I didn't feel like wandering all over Universal Studios. But Heather and Chloe are at Universal for... Chloe's birthday. Um, it was an option if I wanted to go or not. And I was like, well, <sighs> so I didn't go. I think I've been fine. I think I've been okay. Although today, when I talked to her this morning, she said it was raining, and when I talked to her a little while ago, still raining. But I told her, I said, I have one long, uh, Cedars Lebanon for a little while, poke around, poot around, take some pictures, that kind of stuff. Uh, do some vlogging and videoing and all that. Have something up for Tuesday. Um, I got some other things though. I've got to finish editing to put up. But yeah, you know, 2020 wasn't. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Like I said, we we did a lot more than I thought we'd be able to do, but we did safely and. Here we are. Now, I, now, I'm not saying COVID hadn't struck around around us. Uh, we've had three people at work be out with it. And, uh, matter of fact, one of them that was just out recently and just came back, his father is not doing good at all. And don't know how it's going to go. Um, he's got a ma major health issues, and when he got COVID, it took him down. We had a neighbor pass away from COVID. So, you know, take it serious. I mean, if you don't take it serious, that's fine. That's up to you. It's up to every individual. You do what you got to do for yourself, the way I see it. It would help if everybody would do the right thing, whatever you consider that to be. I keep looking at it. I'll do what I got to do to get back to see mom. And see, that's the other thing, is I've been staying away from mom this whole year because of COVID, because I don't want her to get it. She hasn't gotten it. Now, she has gotten her first 
round of the, the shot to keep her from getting COVID. And I kind of jokingly said, I said, well, uh, she asked me if I was going to do it. And I said, well, I'm going to see how you do if you don't, you know, start talking in tongues or head spinning around and doing crazy crap. I said, I might consider it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to shut up for now, do some more driving. We're fixing to get a two lane black top going to the park. And, uh, have a GoPro with me today so I just have my Canon from a Joby and that's it okay we're in the we're on the other end of the state park turn this around this is that road that me and Chloe took you down well last year um, I don't have my GPS I may pull over here in a second for a second and pull up Gaia I have gone to Gaia on my phone, uh, so when we start getting back out there in the world and start doing things, um, I'm going to be trying Gaia out. I mean, everybody seems to like it. Everybody uses it for everything from off-road to on-road. Now, I still say when you're doing highway traveling and stuff, nothing better than a Garmin. So this is Cedars of Lebanon State Park and natural area. No camping, hunting, hunting by permit only, off-roading prohibited. Area closes at 10 p.m. Well, they don't have anything to worry about because I'm not four-wheel drive and I'm not going to stick this two-wheel drive in the middle of uh, where it shouldn't be. <laughs> anyway. I just kind of like this road. It's a little rougher than it was last time we were here. Uh, last time we was here, it was, wasn't like this. So... what's going on everybody we're back um the reason why we're back is because we ran into a roadblock uh they've got across the street closed for some reason and that's the section we went, well i mean we went through that section before but they've got it blocked off right now for some reason i don't know why but they do so we're going to turn around and go back and we'll park over to the park itself But right now we're going to turn around. But that kind of, I guess I'm about to back into Earth because there's nothing behind me. But anyway, I got the Gaia GPS pulled up, which I really don't need because another road and everything. But it is showing the road and showing that cross street there too. 
I don't want back too far because then I'll be backing into mud. So anyway, I'm going to put this down for a second and get this done. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around and talk to you for a second. Something I passed on the way in and I'm not going to video it. I didn't video him and I'm not going to video him on my way back through. But I'm pretty sure I passed somebody that was doing a little target practice in a state park. Which you may not be aware of it is a felony in the state of Tennessee. I'm pretty sure. But uh, it sounds like it's a little 22. But when I come driving by, he kind of clambered up. But I looked over and he's got a post stuck in the ground with a target on it. Now, with a BB gun, you can do that at home. But with uh, 22, in the way he's pointing, he's pointing at a hill. Still, it's illegal, fella. <laughs> anyway, um, unless you're at one of the ranges in the state park, that's a different story. But anyway, we'll come back in the spring. I think that's when we were here last time, was in the spring. She's pretty dormant right now because of fall. We'll come back in the spring, see what we got. But this is pretty wet through here, too. And I mean, it's, I don't remember the road being this rough. And maybe it's had some wash out over the year that we've been here. But um, I'm having to dodge some stuff and take it easy through some stuff. And I don't know, kind of two wheel drive off road adventure. <laughs> They put logs and stuff down because I'm sure kids were coming through here. Okay, some adults too. And uh, playing in that. So they put some logs down to keep that from happening anymore. But you can see we're in a state park. State park run. Now this is kind of washboardy here. And I'm having to go between one big hole into another hole. Fun. <laughs> All right, I'll bring him back. Okay, real quick. Um, we just left State Park. And um, I know all those that saw the Nashville bombing, uh, Christmas Day bombing. It was the next, I think it was the next day or the day after, or something like that. Two days after. They had this silly son of a gun. I'm being nice about this. Um riding around in a van playing the same song that the dude did for the bombing um, but they stopped him back yonder just before the park entrance uh, down in kind of a valley there and uh, come to find out he didn't have anything I mean it was, it was just being a ding dong I'm censoring myself but I mean why there's no sense in it and he had a kid in the car with him too in the van but he, he started out in another county over and that's where they finally stopped him um fairly remote area there there are a few houses and they evacuated everybody but they didn't know what he was doing i mean you know how silly i just people just ah, blow me away some of the stuff they do but it's just like the national bombing itself i mean it was senseless i mean it just stupid senseless um, act and I don't know it never really got a good answer of why I mean he messed up the communications around here for a week um, our work phones were down and I never forget I we got a phone call and with our fire alarm panels they communicate with um, a uh, monitoring service and a lot of our fire panels, you know, people were calling us going, hey, our, our fire panel has communication error. Yeah, the phone's lines are down. Um, even had one guy that was raising cane with me because he couldn't get through to us. I said, really? Like, uh, you know, I know what happened Christmas Day morning in Nashville. Bomb, kabooey, right beside the AT&T building. So anyway, 
people. All right, I'll bring you back in a little bit. I got get get home. Uh, my mail calls probably come by now, and uh, we'll look at that. But I've got a couple stops before then, and I'm not taking you with me. Like I said, this video is a lot of talking, a lot of uh, just getting out. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna wrap the video up now. Just got home, checked the mailbox, and. Uh, package game one of them still waiting on a couple other things to, um, I've got going on and I'll show you that when I get done with it um, and explain to you what I did with it that made sense anyway this will be a video of the bespoke post uh, box will be a video to itself wasn't gonna get this month but what they threw out there I was like oh I want to try that so take keep an eye out for that remember this coming Friday the 29th I'll be doing a live stream um, right now I'm probably going to leave it open as far as the theme of this one but uh, I would say the next one coming up in February we will have a theme to it so stay tuned for that I appreciate y'all watching and uh, be prepared <laughs>